Hey guys, Amanda from The Netballer here. I'm down at Pure Fitness and Performance in Lower Hutt with my trainer, Aaron Boyd. We're going to go through five key exercises that help me as a netballer improve my game and stay fit and strong. Today we're going to cover breathing. Take it away, Aaron. Awesome, thank you, Amanda. Um, so, with breathing, essentially 90% of us in the Western society breathe wrong, so it's not just netballers. Um, pretty much to cut to the chase, we don't use our diaphragms to breathe. If I get Amanda to turn onto her side here, just side on, puts her hand on her chest, hands on her stomach, and when she breathes nice and deep through her nose, you might notice that her chest rises. So if she breathes out again, so you see that big rise in the chest again, breathe in through the nose. And so essentially your lungs are very, very big, they're about that long. So she's using the top third of her lung to breathe, is it all that extra space. Utilizing that space is going to help with um, court, you know, competition. So obviously maintaining breath and um, what do you want to call stamina throughout your entire game. Um, a really easy fix for this is to lie on the ground. So what we're going to do, have Amanda here on her stomach. Head is on her hands. She's going to breathe in through her nose and out through her mouth. Now, the area that I'm focused on as a trainer is this part here. So if I put this ball on here, just to give you a representation, if she breathes in through her nose, she's going to feel her stomach push out against the ground. You see that ball rise up nice and high. She breathes out, the ball then lowers again. So what she's doing, cutting the long story short, is using her diaphragm and it's pushing everything down, exploding everything out. She's opening up this, this massive sac called your lungs and filling it with air. So again, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now as far as protocol goes, you do this morning and night, every day, um, up to five minutes. You clearly, you know, you start with one minute um, on the first day, maybe even the second day, and then move into a minute and a half, two minutes, so on and so forth, until you can comfortably do this for five minutes. Then you have trained your diaphragm. So if I get Amanda now to stand up, and so this would be, you know, within the second to third week, you'd probably do a retest if you get your hand on your chest and hand on your stomach and you breathe in. We should probably start to see her hand, see that pop out there, as well as that's coming up nice and high. So now she's using the full capacity of her lungs. Excellent work. Best of luck, guys. Send us any questions. Um, glad to answer them. We've got four more videos coming up week by week. Cheers. Thank you.